as we wait for a new proposal on building a ballpark in downtown Providence for the Paw Sox. Dozens of people against any plan to do so made sure their voices were heard today. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance was there. She joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with more details. Mike and Shannon, more than 100 protesters gathered here to stop the Paw Sox from moving to this land. What looks like a celebration is a stance. I'm very much against this uh, stadium proposal. 100 to 150 protesters rally against a proposal for the Pawtucket Red Sox to build its stadium on this five acre Interstate 195 parcel of land. Paw Sox have a wonderful stadium we've already paid for in Pawtucket. It's going to be bad for the state. We want this land to be the park that it was designated to be and that we have been working toward for the last 20 to 30 years. The prime downtown Providence riverfront land was given to the state for free to be used as a public park. Paw Sox owner's original stadium proposal asking for $120 million of taxpayers' money failed earlier this year after public opposition. The team is now working behind closed doors with state leaders to revise the proposal. We're tired of lack of transparency. The Paw Sox released a statement tonight in response saying, quote, we're glad there was so much enjoyment at the site today. It well demonstrates what we've been saying all along. The site has incredible potential to serve as a AAA ballpark, activating urban land in a way that could contribute meaningfully to the economy. And protesters say that they're hopeful that their demonstrations will keep the team off this land. Reporting live in downtown Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Shantae Lands, Eyewitness News.